So many new followers that I just wanted to say, hey, if you're new here, welcome to Clean Talk. On this side of TikTok, you can find cleaning motivation, organization tips, crazy life hacks, and so much more. Here is where you'll find cleaning schedules to help keep you on track, ways to get organized and stay organized, how to get stains out of just about everything, and even some super cool mom hacks. <laughs> Let's clear with me. Einmal im Monat putze ich so richtig gründlich meine Bude. Ja, ihr habt richtig gehört. Einmal im Monat reicht für mich vollkommen aus. Wir befinden uns im Badezimmer und fange auch direkt mit der Badewanne an. Und wie dreckig ist bitte meine Duschwand? Jetzt die Toilette und danach folgt große Spiegel. Aber dafür muss ich erstmal meine ganzen Sachen wegräumen. Ihr seht, es ist ganz schön staubig. Danach habe ich noch schön das Tablett gereinigt, alles zurückgestellt, gesaut, gewischt und voila, fertig. I'm trying borrow cleaning hacks to see whether they actually work and I'm gonna see if wiping oil on my bedside tables acts as a dust repellent. Oh my god, black bedside table shop, so much dust, if you know, you know. I'm mixing together olive oil, white vinegar, fairy liquid and some water. I think you can use any oil, probably not coconut oil because that's solid and you'd need to heat it up. You need to give it a good shake when it's in the bottle and then I got to work. It's been about three weeks since I've dusted these. I just used a kitchen paper, poured the mixture on and wiped it down. Now I'll have to wait and see how quickly the dust gathers. Here's some tips for a cleaner home in 2024. On the same color socks, this also goes for underwear, sheets, and towels as well, so it's easier to do the laundry, and if you lose a sock mate, they can team up and find each other. Try to adhere to the one-in, one-out rule for both your shoes and your clothes, and this will keep your closet in check. Make your bed every morning, and this will inspire you to keep the rest of your home clean and tidy as well. Instead of putting an item down, try putting it away immediately. Cookie! Sort through your junk mail and recycle it as soon as you get it so it doesn't pile up and turn into clutter. Day, which means I need to clean my house so I thought we'd start off by doing the kitchen. This is also my first home so I'm very new to this whole cleaning thing so any tips are really appreciated. But anyway I started by cleaning the sink and pouring some of the down the drain this just makes it smell so good. Then I saw someone use washing up liquid to clean their cooker so I gave it a go and it was actually pretty good it was quite hard to get off but after a few wipes it did all go. Where my toaster is there's so many crumbs so I literally have to take everything off the sides wipe the sides down then put everything back. Then I finished off with a quick hoover and a mop and that was it. But anyway if you want to definitely follow along for the journey of making this house a home and learning to clean together. <laughs> Look 
This is how you wash your North Face puffer jacket. This now goes on a delicate setting, very low temperature, mild detergent, and I'm also going to add in some laundry sanitizer. This is what it looks like when you take it out of the wash. Next step is very important, tumble dry on low in 10 minute increments. Believe it or not, the key to a clean house is not a Sunday reset. As much as I do love a Sunday reset, the key to a clean house is having a solid daily cleaning routine. And you've got to make it easy for yourself. For example, every morning when I wake up, I make my bed. Then I get dressed and put a load of washing on because having a load of washing on is a really easy way to feel productive. I put last night's dishes away before I make my breakfast. And every night after dinner, I tidy off the dining table because it gets full of clutter. It's our dumping ground. And it genuinely makes the whole house feel tidy when the kitchen and dining areas are clean. Now, usually I will look at the laundry and walk straight past it, but I'm trying to be better at this. So I'm habit stacking while I I watch tv i'll fold my washing it's really no skin off my nose unfortunately we have one of those couches that needs daily maintenance so after we finish watching tv i'll give it a little fluff I'll put anything and everything back in its home like this throw that i left in the blanket basket that actually belongs on our guest bed it really is that simple <laughs> My toddler's dad caught what seemed to be a stomach bug, so I did what any normal person would do and I banished him from my house. However, this meant I got stuck with a tiny little tornado of a toddler who I had to entertain for two weeks straight. And as you can see, our little apartment got completely neglected. I don't know why, but whenever I see people do deep cleans on TikTok, I always think, fuck it, I'm doing it too. I'm getting up and I'm doing it. So I thought I'd film this because maybe I'll be someone else's motivation today. Anyway, I got stuck into the kitchen because that's my least favourite. It never takes as long as you think it does, I don't know why. After the kitchen, I moved on to the little dining area. Honestly, I don't know what's going on here, don't ask. And I'm gonna have to ask you to excuse the dogs throughout this video. This is the little front door dump. I then started on the lounge room, which for some reason I seem to be cleaning 24 fucking seven. The table's always covered in cocoa pops and the floor's always covered in cheese. By the way, I'm saving the floors for last. Don't look under the couch. I ran out of time to do the other rooms, but let me know if you wanna see a part two. Bye.
Let's do a super realistic clean with me because my room is really messy and this is so vulnerable showing you guys how messy it gets but let's clean it up so i'm gonna start by making my bed so i can use that as like a surface to put other things on i feel like as a content creator there is like so much pressure to have like a super clean and aesthetic room at all times and i'm gonna let y'all know that is like not the case for me i really wish though i was one of those girls with like a super clean room and it was like always presentable for guests but i struggle with adhd really bad and it can make cleaning super challenging if y'all also struggle with adhd i find it helps to break it down task by task and do not do anything else until that little task is complete for me that'll be like doing my makeup counter I won't do anything else until that's done. And since I'm a content creator, I do have the perk of like recording myself. So I literally cannot leave that task. Otherwise it'll ruin the time lapse. So maybe do that for yourself too. I've really been struggling with anxiety lately, which is part of why my room can get so messy. But yeah, here it is clean. I feel like so much more at peace in like a clean room. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. So I am pure panic cleaning right now because I've got someone coming round to see if they can fit an integrated dishwasher and washing machine. They are not going to be bothered in the slightest if my house is clean or not, but my mind tells me otherwise. I even changed the dish mat expunge. So yeah, I'm scrubbing this downstairs like there's no tomorrow. This fridge had one finger mark on it and I still had to scrub the full thing. And of course, emptying this smelly ass bin. Dettol disinfectant spray is a lifesaver. Did I need to clean these cupboards? No, I didn't. But you really can't beat a fresh kitchen drenched in Sephora. Oh, and here's a clip of me dancing with the washing machine, trying to get it out. Luckily, I did this the other day, so it's not too bad. So not happy with the marks it left on the floor. I am so happy to be saying bye to this machine. Well, that's if they can change it. Fingers crossed. Onto the lounge. Dog hairs, be gone. Okay, let's see how many empty water bottles Tom has dumped today. Oh, there's one and two. This unit is giving dusty. Some advice if you're planning on buying a new build, don't buy black furniture because the dust will drive you insane. Finish with a good mop and some smellies, and we are done. This is one of my biggest cluttering projects that I've done so far. My goal for 2024 is to not have all of our junk everywhere and not have a lot of junk in our house, period. Every day that I get ready, I look at everything that we have and not being able to open our drawers is really driving me up the wall. I did go to the dollar store and get a lot of these dividers so that way everything has a place. That's one of my biggest tips is if something has a place, it will stay in that place. It makes it a lot easier to keep things organized. Going through these drawers, I noticed that we had a bunch of stuff that we do not use anymore. I also was tired of having all of my makeup on our counters because it took away a lot of counter space. I did lose a lot of footage, so unfortunately you didn't get to see me put everything back in the drawers, but underneath the cabinets, I put the extra stuff that didn't fit in the drawers underneath here, and they all had a place. I'm so happy to have everything off of our counters and everything has a place in our drawers.
Amazon spring cleaning must-haves. When was the last time that you vacuumed your mattress? This mattress vacuum eliminates allergens such as dust and mites in seconds. It's quiet and suitable for all fabrics. Clean your favorite shoes, jackets, furniture, carpet with this soft brush. Don't be afraid to throw your delicates into the washer with these mesh bags. They have a wire shape to protect your bra wires. It also helps from your pads being removed. The strong mesh allows for a proper clean. You can just throw these into the washer and dryer. This year, don't forget to clean your blinds. This handheld duster clings onto dust, perfectly fits your blinds, and it's reusable. Clean straws, bottles, and tumblers with this electric brush cleaner. It features two speeds, a ton of different attachments. The silicone material makes it easy to clean, and it includes a stand. No more wet floors with this vacuum and mop. When you push it forward, it vacuums. When you pull it back, it mops and dries. It self-drives itself, self-cleans. And if you think your floors are clean, give this one a go. All right, let's talk about scratches in a stainless steel sink. This kit includes everything you need to get the scratches out and make it look brand new. This is a before and after. Collect hair, lint, and dust off of your furniture, floors with this lint roller. It features a long, comfortable handle that you can use on the floor or on your couch. The rolls are refillable. Simply tear off the sheet to get it brand new. Got the house to myself tonight, so I'm doing a one hour speed clean whilst my Chinese is en route. Switched into PGs, of course, because I ain't cleaning in no cargoes. Tonight there was a record breaking four cups and bottles in the boys' room tonight, so I removed them, washed them, and then wiped down the cooker and the sink. This ain't a deep clean, so don't come at me tonight if I'm missing any spots. Although I will say, whilst my dental was marinating on the table, I noticed that they blind handles or really dirty, so I gave them a good scrub. And gave the floor a good hoover. Ollie had been playing with Connect Sand in here earlier, so it was honestly like the beach. Now, this is the dog's corner of the sofa. That is why there's always multiple blankets piled up in this area to save my couch from getting dirty. A lot of you ask how I managed to keep this sofa clean with kids and a dog. I honestly don't. I just managed to hide the stains well. It is really difficult to keep clean. On a serious note though, a good upholstery cleaner is always on hand for any accidents. On to the never ending pile of washing. I actually never got around to folding and putting away the clean washing tonight, but never mind. There was me just minding my own business, doing the perfect hoover lines and my hoover decided to die on me. Quick battery change and we're all good. Finally caved and got the boys one of those TikTok shop lights that everyone has and I'm kind of jealous. I want one from own room. Not me taking the Chinese delivery and whilst I've got a tripod set up watching my hoover. Also disclaimer that is not a prong cracker I gave the dog it is in fact a pig snout. Come back to I thought my house was messy because of depression but it turns out I'm just a dirty person. This idiot. <laughs> The oven. You might not believe me, but this isn't the first time I've cleaned under here. <laughs> I couldn't wait to see what goodies I found under there. <laughs> we truly hit the jackpot. We found so many missing puzzle pieces and magnets. And look at the dirty oven on the sides. Yuck. I can't tell you when I last cleaned under here, but I do know it must be over a year and a half, which is the age of my girls, because some of the things I found under there I haven't purchased since I was pregnant. So, yeah. I can confidently say. I've never cleaned the side of my oven though, which that's not a good thing either. <laughs> But now both sides are sparkling. So in case it's been a while or it's been a never um, since you've cleaned underneath and on the sides of your oven, this is your sign. Go do it. I did it. You can do it. This is your motivation. All right. This is a shame-free zone over here. All right. Because we are on the journey to becoming cleaner people. <laughs> and don't forget to clean out that bottom drawer. Wipe it out nice and clean. Buddy. Treat yourself to your favorite beverage. Mine tonight is going to be a Coke with coconut creamer. Who should I deep clean next? Se não quiser nada ser eu e ser Que não se arrependa de me devolver pra rua Não tem meio termo, eu não sou bagunça Vou amar pra porra ou porra nenhuma Se não quer nada ser eu e ser Que não se arrependa de me devolver pra rua Não tem meio termo, eu não sou bagunça Vou amar pra porra ou porra nenhuma Repertório pra ouvir bebê sem moderação Seu Heitor gosta da qualidade dos seus paredões Puxa! Que por mais que eu queira você 
você não é minha ainda Se eu der bobeira O que não falta é mamanjo na fila Tô sendo pra gente não vingar Mas é a mesma coisa do lado de cá Se não leva Vous me demandez tout le temps comment je fais pour avoir un intérieur aussi clair en ayant trois enfants en bas âge, une grosse boule de poils et surtout un mari. Et c'est essentiellement grâce au bicel. C'est le modèle Spot Clean Pro. L'utilisation, c'est très simple. Vous avez deux grands réservoirs séparés avec un récupérateur d'eau sale et un pour l'eau propre et la solution. Dans ce réservoir, vous avez la ligne pour vous montrer jusqu'où vous devez mettre de l'eau. 59 ml de solution. Vous avez deux modèles de tête fournis avec, avec brosse, une grosse et une petite. Et vous avez plus qu'à clipser l'embout au bout du tuyau. Bon, c'est parti. Maintenant, on passe à la partie sérieuse. Yassine était trop content de pouvoir mettre plein de chocolat sur la chaîne. Moi j'avais presque les larmes qui coulaient mais ça va. <rire> Allez maintenant c'est parti, je vous montre, j'asperge deux produits. Mmh. Je vais frotter un maximum avant de pouvoir aspirer le liquide. Et là maintenant j'aspire, regardez-moi cette satisfaction au max. On voit bien comment il fait bien son rôle d'extracteur. Allez on poursuit avec les tabourets de bar. Oh là là les enfants me les salissent à tous les repas. Et c'est parti pour reproduire la même opération. Je commence d'abord par pulvériser le produit. Et puis on frotte bien 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 toutes ces tâches un peu dures. Et c'est parti pour le moment de la satisfaction comme j'aime. C'est typiquement le genre de vidéo que j'aime regarder. Et regardez maintenant la couleur de l'eau dans le réservoir d'eau sale en ayant juste nettoyé une chaise et deux tabourets. In my opinion, dishes are the hardest things to do in the house. It takes so much time and so much effort, especially when you don't have a dishwasher. So I've been asked to do a little bit of cleaning motivation. And I think that if anything needs motivation, it's dishes. So let's jump in. Do your f***ing dishes. Look, it's time to get up off of your lazy ass and do your f***ing dishes, dude. Well, you think I'm f***ing with you? You think this is a game? I promise you, I am not f***ing with you. Your dishes are in there smelling like a rotting and I'm not going to put up with it. So get off your lazy and wash your dishes. Look, I don't even have a dishwasher. You know why? Because wash your dishes. That's why. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, none. There are people in dishless countries right now wishing that they had dishes that they could make dirty. And here you are like, I don't want to do my dishes because I don't just do your dishes. But I hate cleaning out cups and having to put, look, I'll clean out your with a 14 inch I will spank your with a spatula and you will love it I'll your until you bleed dish soap do your fucking dishes you are now motivated later Vous avez été nombreux à réagir sur cette vidéo. Parmi les commentaires récurrents, on peut noter que beaucoup d'entre vous se sentent dépassés par les tâches ménagères. Voilà donc 4 conseils pour se sentir plus à l'aise avec le ménage et se décharger mentalement. Numéro 1, simpliste mais efficace, les routines quotidiennes de base. Si tu le peux dès le matin avec l'aération, le vidage du lave-vaisselle pour qu'il soit prêt pour la journée, un petit rafraîchissement des WC et une petite panière de linge pour ne pas accumuler. Ça évite d'être débordé avec des journées machines complètes. Essentiel également, le lit au quotidien. Et on passe au conseil numéro 2. Si un endroit est trop encombré, commence par te munir d'une panière. Ici, 
si c'est un tiroir, mais le principe, c'est le même. On vide tout pour pouvoir nettoyer et mettre au clair. Après ça, on pourra tranquillement s'occuper de la panière pour trier, ranger, jeter, pouvoir tout réentreposer. Ici, le mot d'ordre, c'est l'action. L'action, justement, avec ce troisième conseil, qui consiste à agir et ne pas réfléchir. Et bien connu, si tu réfléchis trop, tu auras plus de mal à passer à l'action. Pour ça, liste les tâches prioritaires et fixe-toi des objectifs atteignables. De petits objectifs pour commencer, pour ressentir la satisfaction du fait. Cela provoquera un sentiment de plaisir, stimulant ainsi ton envie de recommencer. Et pour terminer avec le conseil numéro 4, accepter. Accepter qu'une maison qui vit, c'est une maison qui se salit. Accepter donc que les tâches ménagères sont perpétuelles mais nécessaires. On prend soin de son toit comme l'on prend soin de soi. Si vous voulez plus de conseils en commentaire, abonnez-vous pour en apprendre plus. weekly cleaning routine here all the time so I wanted to share the 10 things that I do daily to keep our home running smoothly and help me keep my sanity. Number one seems really simple but making the bed. It only takes about a minute you'll feel accomplished and your whole room will feel a lot cleaner. Number two I do one load of laundry to completion a day. If you're wondering if this will help keep your laundry baskets clear the answer is no. At least not for me anyway. I don't even want to know how many loads I'd have to do to be completely caught up. Number three I wipe down the doorknobs the sink and the toilet in our most used bathroom. It's just a quick wipe down but it really stops the grime from building up. Number four I unload the dishwasher as early as possible. This allows me to put in all the dirty dishes throughout the day. Number five, I work out, shower, and I get dressed. Usually just in leggings, but taking these couple of minutes to myself really helps me feel more put together. Number six, every afternoon I set a 15-minute timer and I pick up as much of the kitchen, living, and dining room as I can. Doing this always helps cut my nightly cleanup down in half. Number seven, after dinner I shut down our kitchen. Even though I'm usually exhausted at this point, I know that I deserve to walk down to a clean kitchen in the morning. Number eight, after the kitchen's been shut down, I scrub out our sink. It is such a great feeling to have a shiny sink at the end of the night. Number nine, we clean up all the boys' toys in our family room. And number 10, I vacuum the rug in here. I started doing all these things when I found out about the Fly Lady method a few years ago, and it has been such a game changer for me. 49 of decluttering my house. And if you like this series, I'd love it if you follow along for the last day of the credenza and whatever else this series holds. Now I know you were just wondering, was that drawer stuck? And yes, the answer was it was absolutely stuck. But with enough shaking and swearing, the drawer opened up, allowing me to pull out several COVID mask boxes, some bouncy balls, a fire stick, balloons, and some Halloween treats. From there, I moved on to the drawer below that had lots of nice linens that I've never used, some Easter eggs that I have used, and a really cool flag that a friend got us. The first thing I did was to collect the Easter eggs and put them in a bag. From there, I was able to put the linens back because I do want to use them someday when, you know, I don't have kids that are disgusting and beautiful white linens aren't a horrible, horrible choice. From there, I put some party stuff and the bouncy balls and the Easter eggs in the kid drawer. Side note, I can't wait to throw some sort of weird, obscure, mismatch party for my kids. And then I took some wine gift bags that we had and I put them in a drawer we did the other day. Looks us making homes for things. After that, I try to put the COVID mask in the drawer we did the other day. You know the drawer that I labeled the functional drawer? It turns out they don't fit, so I had to move them down to the second drawer, which I thought about also putting some coloring books in, but then I moved them over here. Also, yes, that was a butt on that coloring book. I also decided to give my mom this calligraphy book and then had to go through this Halloween basket. I took most of the chocolate out because it was kind of gross by now, but some of this little stuff my son will be super motivated by, so I decided to keep it and bribe him when necessary. And with that, the credence is done. It's a whole new space, a new entryway, and I'm really happy. Yay!
for a trip in two days. So this is gonna be a little pre-vacation deep clean. Our normal dogs slash house sitters are coming back. So I wanna make sure it's like all nice and clean for them. Also, nothing beats coming back to a clean home. So let's go. Okay, we leave for a trip in two days. So this is gonna be a little pre-vacation deep clean. Our normal dogs slash house sitters are coming back. So I wanna make sure it's like all nice and clean for them. Also, nothing beats coming back to a clean home. So let's go.
Every Wednesday, I set a one hour timer and I see how much I can get done around the flat in that time. It is a lifestyle at this point. But giving myself one little baby hour in the middle of the week where I just get on with it and I'm not allowed to procrastinate has honestly made my life so much better. For one, I do very much see this as an Olympic sport and every week I'm trying to beat my personal best. Okay, I'll admit, breaking one of my favourite straws while aggressively unloading the dishwasher was not my best work. But you win some, you lose some. Reloading the dishwasher with a smidge less aggression. And now a task I cannot put off any longer. My fridge absolutely humding a lings. Taking out what I think are the offending areas and washing them properly in the sink. Ooh, that is definitely dried up milk on there. No wonder the stench has been sending me west every time I look for a snack. I'd normally edit this really smoothly, but just know those shelves are getting banged left, right and centre when you're trying to take them out. Also, I'm lazy cleaning the rest of the shelves because I'm just not in the mood for a shower trying to do them in the sink. Fridge clean done in record time that is something i'd normally make a way bigger deal about probably give it its own video but do you know what i just couldn't be asked just wanted to get it done as quickly as possible and it's inspired me i think every week i'm going to try and include one of those cleaning jobs that you always put off but in reality it doesn't even take that long well 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 here we go again time to clean my sofa and i've not actually done it with surf disinfectant for a while somebody asked me to try a different pattern so i've tried to go for like a checkered vibe and i'm just going to tell you now i don't like it I don't like it at all. But we're against the clock and there are no time for redos, so we're gonna have to live with it. Luckily, it will only be there until I decide to plonk my ass on it. And my ass is drawn to that sofa like a moth to a flame, so we shall not be waiting long. Oh, whose idea was it to put the timer over there and then mop? Risking a bin run with a mere five minutes to go, but I'm back and we've still got two minutes. Time's up, goodbye. It is a good thing they didn't film salt burn in my shower because Mr. Oliver would have got more than he bargained for down this drain. Although to be fair, he would have deserved it. Anyway, moving on, we are cleaning the living daylights out of my entire bathroom today. Starting with, you guessed it, the drain. If anyone else has this type of drain, then you will know it just gets so disgusting so easily. But one of my New Year's resolutions is to clean it more often, just to spare myself from the torture of cleaning it when it's been too long. If you've ever heard me speak before, there's a good chance you've heard me spit venom towards matte black bathrooms, and my opinion hasn't changed. I still strongly believe they are the worst type of bathroom fixtures to clean but i'm also going to try this year to just clean it more often again to make my life easier i want to have fun i don't want to spend hours cleaning my bathroom in one go so if that means clean enough for every shower so be it and so we are going in today my logic is if i get it all absolutely spotless then it should be easier to keep on top of day by day i know somebody's going to ask so the hoover suction squeegee thingy is a karcher window vac game changer to be honest anyway we are flying through these bits that to be honest get clean quite often so they're pretty easy to whiz through mm, okay maybe i do usually neglect the towel rail but she is having her moment right now. A little dusty dust and wipe, and it is finally time for murder on the dance floor. In other words, I am gonna burn the goddamn dirt in the grout right down. Okay, I'm sorry, that was the final salt burn reference. I'm sure everybody who's seen it wants to move on with their life. I'm really hoping that some of you have made it this far in the video because not only was cleaning the grout hell on earth, but I nearly fainted doing it. I was up, down, left, right on a one woman mission to banish every single speck of dirt from my bathroom floor. It nearly broke me and I'm hanging on by a mere thread, but I'm persevering and steam mopping any remaining pink stuff paste out. I've got nothing left.
I'm committed to setting a one hour time limit every single Wednesday and sprinting around my flat like a mad woman, getting as much clean as I can. Wash load on, now it's time for this shit pile to be gone. Can you believe this all fits under my bed? Setting my watch to a workout because I'm already sweating my tits off within four minutes. Oh crap. I don't have time for this today. The clock is a ticking right under my bed, loading in the things that I just can't let go of. Also, I promise you, I'm not trying to be a dick on purpose and deliberately not showing you my bedroom. Well, I kind of am. It's just that we've got a few little finishing touches to put in there, like that mirror, some new lights, and then we will be back in business. Anywho, you can't really see, but there was all like candle wax and stuff over my table so giving that a really good clean and then a little hoover of the rug and we are in the living area right it might seem a bit excessive going this hard on my sofa given that i've only got half an hour left but i genuinely think i could be down to my last minute on earth and this is exactly how i would spend it why deny myself something that makes me so happy and moving on to the kitchen pretty sure i'm just going to be moving that mirror around until someone kindly puts it up for me totally forgot i was filming this for attention on the internet and let my big fat head get in the way pretty much the whole time i was cleaning the sink but just now i did a really good job and i am wiping down the sides it's not my first rodeo doing this today and it will not be my last. There are two types of people in this world, those who dry their bed sheets on the door and those who don't. To be honest, there's clean washing all over the gaff today and we've still got another load in. It just does not end. But this towel rail, it is a godsend. I can get a whole load of washing on there. Poor towels are just gonna have to stay hanging up in the glass for now. We are down to the last five minutes, so I'm just gonna spend it going balls to the wall with the hoover. No prizes for guessing where I'm going next. To be honest, I could just spend the next two minutes shoving it in and out of this gap and I would be very happy. I blame the gap for the fact that the timer actually beat me today and I couldn't hear that it ended because all I could hear was my hoover. And my rings are closed, goodbye. Y'all, I got the keys to my new apartment, but of course, before I move anything into my apartment, I'm gonna clean up. These apartments, they do clean, but they do like a surface level clean. So I wanted to do more of a deep cleaning. And of course, I started with my kitchen. So the appliances did look new, like the fridge and the microwave and the oven, but I still wanted to kind of go in and clean it with the, um, what is it, like an all-purpose disinfectant i don't know i cleaned it and i mean i feel comfortable with how clean it is but i just kind of wanted to get into the nooks and crannies just in case any lasting dirt was left um, from the previous owners and then of course i wanted to wipe down the handles with the lysol wipe and then i went into the bathroom and i cleaned the toilet and i made a mistake and dropped the cap of bleach inside of the toilet y'all that is so nasty to me i don't know why like the toilet looked clean but like i said I like to deep clean um, and I do have a new toilet brush and then I use a Lysol wipe to wipe the rest of the toilet. I always use a Lysol wipe. I don't think it's smart to use a rag to clean your toilet. I just like the fact that I can clean it and then throw the little wipe away. And then here is my new shower. It's really big. I don't really love the white tile, but I love taking baths and I love a big tub. And here are my new countertops. I don't like the bathroom counters, but it is what it is. Everything can't be perfect. Um, and then I wanted to go back into the kitchen and kind of put everything away. And I'm already starting to feel really comfortable in this space. I really like it. Um, and then I also kind of wanted to wipe down the countertops and just make myself at home. And the only places where I have carpet is my closet in my room. So I'm definitely about to start vacuuming. Okay, it doesn't look that bad, but it's bad. Like we're at the point where I either need to buy more hangers or get rid of some clothes. And I hate buying more hangers. If I don't wear it, it has to go. I said that last time, I'm being for real. This has to go. All these skimpy little college tops, I'm not wearing them. They have to go. Come on. Be for real. And I'm gonna separate the piles into like stuff for my friends and then stuff for like Goodwill. And I'll actually give the bag to my friends this time because last time it sat in here for like a week and I was like, it has to go. I really wanted this to work. I really wanted these type of shirts to look good on me. They don't. When you lift up your underarms, they look weird. Let me just put it on to make sure. Okay, this looks good, right? But this is the part that like, like why are my underarms out? I have always wanted to wear this sweater. I don't know how. You're not supposed to wear a bra with it. Tell me how this works. Because anytime I try to do anything, it's like titties out. The pants situation is where it gets a little dicey. Cause I go through phases where it's like, okay, I only want to wear 90s jeans. I only want to wear high rise jeans. I only want to wear low rise jeans. And I don't want to make an impulse decision on a phase that I'm in. Because right now, the basketball short, I could do without. I just don't see a reason. Like the schoolgirl skirts, it's time to go. I love these jeans with my whole heart. I don't think they fit. Like these were so cute, but I've gained weight in the last year. If I sit down in these within like five seconds, true. I just don't want to live like that. I hate having clothes that you're like hoping to fit in one day. Like I feel like that's discouraging. Like I want to have clothes that I feel confident in right now. Someone's going to get really good use out of those. I feel like I might be out of this era and I've had these since like I was in high school. I can't see myself like reaching for these. Aww. It's like so exciting to like be growing up and so sad at the same time. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That means you're growing. That means you're growing. Look at all these new hangers.
bedroom and bathroom need a really good deep clean, so let's do it. Look at all that. So growing up, my mom always taught me to keep a clean bathroom and that was one of my main chores. So as an adult, I always make sure that my bathroom is clean. I always start with the sink first, then the tub, then the toilet. And I like to use Barkeeper's Friend to scrub the sink. I like to use the Scrub Mommy, but for smaller areas, I use a small detailed brush and these are linked on my Amazon storefront. Then I always use a bathroom cleaner spray to get the countertops. I also use it for the cabinets, my doors, and my walls. And I never get lazy and forget the small little annoying areas to clean if you're gonna clean you might as well just clean it good so after that part is done i move on to the bathtub and i remove everything that's going to be in my way especially everything that's in the bathtub and i always start off by giving my shower a good spray down just so that everything's wet while i clean it i also use the barkeeper's friend to scrub my bathtub and i like to also use this electric brush that i got on amazon just because it kind of does the work for you there are better ones like with longer handles but this is just the one that i have and here's a hack for you whenever you're rinsing out bubbles whether it's from your bathtub your sink always use cold water because bubbles dissolve with cold water not hot water and i always like to give my kids bath toys a good clean because there's so much bacteria and mold buildup and that is disgusting so when the shower is all done i move on to the toilet my least favorite part i start off by giving it a good wipe down with just clorox or lysol wipes and if you're not cleaning this part of your bathroom and wiping it down please research it and look it up and thank me later then when it comes to the toilet i like to to always start off with a scouring stick to remove any toilet bowl rings then i just use this lysol cleaner i don't know what it's called i forget but it smells really good and it's pink and i just give the toilet a good scrub down nothing fancy and i always like to dry my brush like this it's a good hack then i always will dump out the trash and put a new trash bag in and then that's when i start working on the floor and i just vacuum and swiffer it then i wrap it up by laying down a clean bathroom mat it's time for the new year's eve clean Meaning my house is going to be sparkling going into 2024 and that is how i plan to keep it for the duration of the year but really who am i kidding i only cleaned the house an hour ago and it is already looking like a mess me and my mum were speaking about this yesterday saying how do people constantly keep their house clean and tidy do you clean it 24 7 because i need some tips and tricks because as soon as i've cleaned made a cup of tea made some food odie's ran around it's dirty again but anyway we can pretend that i have a spotless house 24 7 if you're thinking georgia you sound a bit nasally then yes i woke up with some horrible illness and i do not feel great but we had to get this clean done so i got my new radio on whacked the tunes up and got into my groove of cleaning me and callum bought this sofa before we knew we were getting a puppy and i asked callum the other day would we have got a different sofa if we knew 
when we bought it that we were going to get a dog because although you'd think dark would be a good color with dog it picks up on any color of any juices saliva anything else and it's just a nightmare to clean because it's fabric but we're just going to ignore them stains for this clean because i do not have the energy to deep clean the sofa i have never been a big fan of new year's eve i find it so overrated everywhere's so busy everywhere's so expensive everywhere is fully booked what are your thoughts of new year's eve do you love it or do you hate it I intend to be asleep when the new year comes in because to be honest i've not had my eyes open past midnight in i don't even know how long but anyway this clean is now well underway and we moved on to the stairs and at this point i was gasping for air because i physically cannot breathe through those and these cleaning products are not helpful either so we got all them windows open but we made it to the dreaded room the bathroom and to be honest i hardly touched the surfaces but it looks clean from the outside like me the hoover had had enough once we got to the bathroom so the bedrooms were going to have to be neglected unfortunately so to finish the clean i emptied the bathroom bin swapped out the towels made the mirrors look nice and shiny and that was this new year's eve clean done i hope you all have the best end to 2023 and i am so excited for 2024 thanks for watching